Hey everybody, I'm Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life. Today I want to show you a new product that was introduced to me recently and I'm going to show you what it's used for and it's for planting a tree or a shrub, probably a small tree or shrub on uh, the side of a hill or on a slope. So let me show you the product. We're going to show you uh, the difficulty in planting stuff on a slope and show you what the new design helps with. So let's get started. So let's check out the product. This is called the Hillside Planter. And how I was introduced to this, I have a friend that's in the lawn business and we do an annual uh, lawn care conference and he contacted uh, these people, got in touch with them somehow and they contacted me and we discussed this product. And basically she's gonna give away some of these at the upcoming lawn care conference. So, but I wanted to demonstrate, she sent me some that I could use because I told her, I, you know, I don't do landscape. Uh, professionally but I, I like playing around with it in my house and I've got slopes so basically if you look at it it's uh, it's basically a half a pot or maybe not even quite half a pot um, but you understand the problem when you're trying to landscape on a slope is the erosion you're trying maybe you're trying to get a plan established on the slope to prevent erosion but the problem is that the, it may have too much erosion that doesn't allow the plant to get enough water or uh, begins to erode away the soil and expose the roots, which can be a problem. So uh, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna uh, show you that and then we're gonna install this and show you how it works. You can see here, I've got, uh, it's an Encore Azalea plant on this bank. And I kind of picture my landscape one day being sort of natural looking where, where I've got, you know, trees and, but it mixed in with that, I've got some, uh, azaleas and hydrangeas and things like that. So I planted this here back when it was hot. And what I found was it really struggled. One, because it was hot and dry. But again, the water is running off before the plant can really use most of it. So let's demonstrate that and then we'll try to fix the problem. So obviously, if I pour water here, Now, obviously, when it's raining, the water's going to come in slower. Maybe a little bit more gets absorbed. But you see the point. The, the water is going to run off more so on the slope than if it was more level ground. So well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually just dig this plant up, and then we're going to replant it with the hillside planter. plant hadn't been in the ground that long so it's not that hard to dig up. So now what I'm going to do is dig out the hole a little bit more and then we'll put the hillside planter in place and then we'll reinstall the plant. All right, so when you install it, you can see how, how it says, it says dig a hole, then you want to place your planter on the front side of the hole, and then you can add the soil back or amend your soil, whatever you want to do after that. I'm actually gonna uh, put in a little bit different soil that I think might be a little bit better, so let's do that.
Okay, so now we've got it installed and you can see that the plant is basically sitting on level ground and again, it's gonna just do a, a lot better job of being able to uh, use the, the rainwater or whether I water it by hand without it having so much runoff. And what I like about it too, I, I mean, I really think it's a cool invention. You know, a pot obviously restricts your the root growth and it gets the roots all get compacted and I, I imagine to some degree that would happen in this on one side but it still allows the plant the roots to expand on the other side the open side uh, and you know eventually get well established inside the hill I'm gonna water the plant again and we'll see how the difference in in how the water runs off It's kind of like a, a, like I said, it's a half a pot. It's like a pot if I fill it up over the top, then obviously it's gonna pour over. But uh, I do believe it's gonna, when it's raining and the water's coming in a lot slower, it's gonna have time to absorb and, and use a lot of that water before it runs off. So anyway, I think it's a pretty cool invention. You know, one of my, my probably favorite show on TV is Shark Tank and you see these inventors come in and to have somebody take a, a simple idea to solve a common problem uh, it's pretty cool and be able to talk to her on the phone and hear about the hillside planner these are available on amazon uh, i'll put a link in the description below but anyway she's gonna uh, giving away some of these at our upcoming lawn care life conference which is january 23rd and 24th of 2020 i'll put a link below to register for that as well and we'll have these on display but just one of the sponsors for the event along with uh, Jobber is our, our title sponsor and a lot of prizes and things we're giving away. So really appreciate the support of the channel. Hope, uh, hope this introduced you to a new product, how to solve a common problem that's landscaping on the side of a slope. So uh, let me hear from you below, your comments on this product, what do you think about it? I'll talk to you later. Hey, this is Jason Creel. Let me invite you to the 2020 Lawn Care Life Conference presented by Jobber, January 23rd and 24th in Springville, Alabama, just north of Birmingham. Come see some of your favorite YouTubers, including Keith Kalfas, Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut, and Brian Shane from Top Notch Lawn Care. Have a chance to win some great prizes, including the grand prize, an Xmark 30-inch commercial push mower, the new X-Series. Hope to see many of you January 23rd and 24th. I'm looking forward to it. I'd say there's no better place that you can go to to, to get the tools you need to be successful. Like-minded people, good networking. I could not believe how many people were here and how awesome the conversations we had. I've learned a lot about growing my business more than anything here. I tell you what, this place could not be any better. We got a lot of great information, a lot of great speakers. The food was awesome. Jason Krill has done a very, very excellent job in uh, presenting this lawn care conference. It's awesome to meet some of the guys that you follow on YouTube. You're around like-minded people who also want to grow and you're listening to people who were just like you who are also growing. Definitely be coming back next year.